what it do everybody and welcome back to another for loop podcast the main podcast not the sister podcast with your boy big step of mark yeah that boy tyson what up that boy low ranch uh <laughs> and me your boy jake aka the goat patrol which, you know, at this point, you should know by now, all the times I change my name to something we're going to talk about in this podcast, it's 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 always pertaining to that. But I'm not going to tell you what it's about. I'm going to have somebody else tell you what it's about. Somebody take it away, and let's get this shit started. But first, before we do that, Larry, give me the question of the day. Question of the day. Since today we're talking about anime. Ooh. Bars. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of want to check in, everyone. What's everyone watching right now? What's your current re- anime recommendation for the folks out there? Recommendation or what we're watching? Yeah, or like give them a re- like. What are you watching? And if you have anything you want to recommend, they watch. Uh, uh, yes. I mean, good answer. Shit, I'm not. I haven't. So like, I need to catch up on Attack on Titan because like I was keeping up with it, but then like I missed the week and. You know, once you miss a week of a show, like you just you just fall behind. Yeah, uh, I ain't even going a lot. I was doing so good watching Boruto episode to episode, week to week. <laughs> I stopped midway one one day. You, I'm behind you, like seven episodes. Now. Exactly, it's just bro, not once, worth it. Once you miss that one episode, you're like, fuck, bro. Because you're like, bro, now I gotta take out a whole chunk of my day to catch up. Especially and Boruto. Man, the more you wait, for, like the big, it. like the worse it is. I'm saying, bro. Um, but I'm I. So I would say like Attack on Titan is what I'm currently watching. I just gotta, I just gotta jump back into it. I'm taking a break from One Piece because I'm on like episode 600 or something of One Piece, bro. Oh, like I'm, I'm putting chunks. work into. It. Well, actually, no, Jake, you on episode 600 or something? One Piece. I'm, I'm close. I'm on like 587, I think. What episode? Am I on? Let me stop playing. Me. Like 700 or something. Oh dang! I closed the tab. That's oh. wow. That's why I don't close my tabs. All right, keep that. That's ah. Oh! I'm not anyway. gonna lie though. This second season of Demon Slayer that dropped, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh my Listen, God. I will say it solidified itself as my favorite anime currently right now because of literally everything going on. I really fuck with it. I fuck with the characters. Even, even, and Tyson, you can have it because even Zenitsu is becoming. Like he's Wait, doing Tyson better than me. Can have it. I've been I've been arguing for Zenetsu since the show came out. Oh, really? interesting. I thought yeah. you like I thought you liked Tanjiro more than all three of them. I mean, I do, but like anytime you, I wasn't gonna let you well, shit on Zenetsu. Uh, Tyson's favorite is that it, isn't it? Mm, no, that ain't Who's no. favorite. I honestly, it's it's hard to say. Keep it a bug. Oh, because the main three to me just ain't it. Well then, I'll give it. I'll give it to you, Marcus, because that Zenitsu, he he get he, and you know why? You know why he's coming up? Cause that motherfucker stayed asleep. Hey, okay, that's the only because he's not a bitch when he's asleep, and that's that's there it is. I don't know. I it's like just Zenitsu. crazy to me that you like you like Mineta but don't like Zenitsu. I like Mineta because he's funny, and he doesn't like if he doesn't get that much screen time. So and he you, can't. So he's so like. Both. If, if I Mineta understand. ended up had like nonstop screen time. If for he a had bit. the same amount of screen time as Zenitsu, I can see why I wouldn't like Mineta. <laughs> I you can see why, but he okay. doesn't. So here's the here's the issue. Give me less of that motherfucker being awake. I will like him. You see this correlation? <laughs> That's crazy. Larry, what, what you watching right now? Uh, I'm watching Fire Force. It's pretty good so far. Like, Are you I, watch, did you finish Dragon Ball? Dragon yeah. Ball, regular Dragon Ball, yeah. Why don't you yeah, go to I Dragon Ball Z? Know, I needed a break. Crazy. I get it. I get it. Ah, brother, disrespect. But no, uh, I just wanted to watch a couple. Um, what's it called? Like one, two season animes. Like I watched Jutsu Kaisen. Uh, I watched the My Hero Academia season five, and now I'm watching Fire Force. Crazy, crazy. Right. Well, I guess but, that's what everybody's uh, watching. Oh, not quite. So like, oh, shit. I I started jujitsu. Um, mm-hmm. I just gotta. I just because I'm only like four episodes in. I just gotta commit to it. Uh, Do you but like it? I know hey, it's it's all right so far. Like it's not pushing me away, which is a plus. That's good. Uh, but what I know I'm waiting on though, 
What I'm waiting on, though. Is a Gojo scene? No, what I'm waiting on, though. <laughs> what you waiting oh, on? Well, I'm excited. <laughs> Third season of uh, Doctor Stone. Yes, sir. I need, bro. Honestly, I need to get back into Doctor Stone because, like, that first season, I was like, "Yo, this is this this is gonna be one of the great shows." Second it's season, good. I watched like one episode, and I don't know why I just fell off. Bro, let me see that man. What, what's what's the main character's name, bro? Uh, Senku Stone. Bro, yeah. Senku, bro. Definition of came from nothing or something, bro. That's crazy. No, honestly, honestly, since we brought that up, since we brought that up, <laughs> so this. So this this podcast episode is gonna be goats of anime, right? The first one I want to throw up there is what's his nigga's name? Senku. Yeah. Stone. Well, I'm gonna call that nigga Stone, bro. <laughs> Doctor Stone. <laughs> that's that nigga. Doc- Yo, so if you don't know Doctor Stone, right? Me. Okay, so yeah, mix way to two, Larry. So, one day, for some reason, right, everyone on Earth gets turned to stone. Mm-hmm. Right. Fast forward. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. He's gotta get the facts straight. I gotta get the facts. He's got to the Wikipedia. It's, it's, it's a long amount of time everybody's in, in like, encased in stone because of this oh, it's a long. flash of light. Like, it's, we're not talking yeah. a couple decades or a couple hundred years. So Medusa um, started her OnlyFans, turned well, her into stone. Okay. Larry, it's, it's such a long time has passed that all traces of civilization has been all but, like, damn near wiped. Like okay. wiped from nature, like with nature. So nature, so. nature took back, like pretty much, over. yeah. That's how long it took. So three thousand seven hundred years passed, but we're like in the actual like, anime, like it broke it. He it broke it. He broke it down. So we know three thousand seven hundred years have passed mm-hmm. because even though you're like you're in stone, for some reason, my nigga, my nigga, Doctor Stone was like awake. For that that time you you were able to be conscious if you were to keep your mind active basically yeah yeah so to keep his mind active Larry, you know what he did what he counted the seconds yeah that's a fact for yeah. three thousand and seven hundred years more willpower than i will ever have this man <laughs> counted the seconds you know what's crazy and th- this this might this might be this might be low tier goat moment, but this is a goat moment, right? Low tier, <laughs> bro. That's high tier. <laughs> you know, but, but, listen to the reason. This might be a goat moment because my nigga didn't lose count. Because I damn sure would have lost count somewhere in that motherfucker. Listen, three thousand years of counting. You know how many lifetimes that is. They say that you have to count your entire lifetime uh, nah nah bro this is that's, it's that's a lot. 37 lives if, if you live to be 100 that's 37 lives it's fucking stupid and the fact that he kept count did the math of how many years that was in seconds knows what date it might be and says it's about right cuz it feels right after he wakes up <laughs> it's fucking crazy that's it's a, fucking crazy that's a goat moment see that's this is what this this podcast episode is about i would have gave up around like 200 in anime so goat moments in anime. Is, goat is moments or people? Goat. Oh yeah, that's right. That's goat, good. That's goat, good. Oh, I thought it was yeah, just goat, straight up goat anime. Yeah, goats of anime. So like, but for like you to be a goat, like you have to. Okay, I'll say the goat character. Goat. Okay, 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 right. okay. Wait, okay. so we have to first like define what is a goat, right? I mean, obviously everyone uh, knows. Four animal, animal, four legged animal. Um, Larry, shut up! You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. All of my bad. me are familiar faces. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> my <laughs> bad. <laughs> that was all my Tyson shit right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like, how many goat moments equal? Like, you're a goat of anime, if that makes sense. Yeah, um, I think it depends on the quality of what you do and what you did. Yeah, I wouldn't um, say it's so much how many moments of being a goat. It's a okay. matter of, are you a goat because of what you've done, period, dot, dot. Also, okay. I think we should just single it down to character because some animes can be trash, but the character is literally what carries the entire thing. That's, that's fair. That's so fair. That's I'll, fair. I'll say characters who just go above and beyond outside of what a normal person can do. Okay. I mean, that. I mean... To be fair, every just about everybody in anime goes above beyond what a normal person. To I be mean, fair, <laughs> just <Shit>. about, <laughs> just okay. about though. I feel like we also have to like, 
you have to like look at it for at the time it happened right so like you can't take you can't take a moment that happened like early in the show and compare it to something that happened towards the end and be like oh that's not a goat moment or like he's not a goat because of that because then look what happened later i'll say the environment too because i'm not i'm not gonna equate like goku to somebody to like some random person who's just being crazy smart in a no powerless in a, in a powerless universe you know what i'm saying so like just keep in mind like the universe the character is in yeah yeah. so uh, the first one i want to bring up because jake i was arguing about this i was arguing with you about this yeah like early like last week my first mm. goat right He's like a lower tier goat of this series because there's a lot of goats in this series. The series produced a lot of them. Mm. Rock Lee. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Rock Lee or my guy? No, Rock Lee. definitely Rock, Rock Lee. Lee for sure. I okay. can see it. I like, can I'm, see right it. now, I'm talking about Rock Lee. And I knew this nigga was going to be a goat in the tuning exams. When he was the first person ever, ever, like, to touch like to touch Gara, that's that's goat status right there. This thing is thirteen years old and did something that like full grown adults could not do. That just shows, uh, yeah, that's, it's it's crazy, bro. Like how you argue? How, how you gonna argue with that, Jake? Well, I mean, <laughs> everybody in his village couldn't touch him, and yeah, you could say he was going out on missions and stuff like that, but like. You put other Joni, you put like the Joni that they showed in the show back in that time, because they had this power back at that time. If they went against Gara, they could have touched him. Like, yeah, I, okay, obviously, like Kakashi, Kakashi could have killed Gara. But, but, but that's what I'm saying. They're, we're saying that like Rock Lee is so, was so fast at that moment, he touched Gara, which means if no other ninja could do it, that means Rock Lee. Is faster than most Joni at that level, and that's not true. I mean, like, I, like, you have. I to would say that's pretty true. Jo- I'll say some Joni, sure, but like you have to not, remember not the though, ones on. You have to remember though, people Iron like Mission. Kakashi, people like uh, Mike Guy. Those are all hella yeah, top Joni, tier but, Joni. But again, Mike Guy's not like, oh shit, he's faster than me. Like my guy's just like, yeah, I trained that guy. Yeah. But, like, okay, but you have, to look, not you have to look at it for like what's happening, right? Not like, oh, is he a goat? Like, yeah, like he did this, but like other people can do this. Like, no, you have to look at it like, okay, okay, so, well wait, then. Wait, hold on, let me finish. All right. Let me finish. Damn. Let me finish. Damn. Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Anyway, like up until this point, right? The knowledge we have of Gara is that this nigga is crazy. He controls sand, and since the time he was born, the only person to touch him was his mom, and that's because she gave birth to him. Mm-hmm. Ever since then, no one has touched this nigga, and he's gone on B rank missions. Do you have sand, Gucci? There he is. Yo. So you see, I'm so, I'm I don't want to hear no more about me talking shit to Larry. When you see this shit happening, Larry, like, yo, bro, yo. you know that's a thing. Like, I mean, I be, I be, I be I talking be... to Tyson for you. I'm gonna, like, be, oh, I'm gonna be yeah. completely honest. That was actually a thought. I did not mean to say, did she have sand Gucci? <laughs> nah, bro, because I'll be talking to Tyson. Be like, yo, Tyson, like, lay off Larry, bro. Like, you kind of going too hard on him, bro. Lay off of him. You know how many times I've had that conversation? Thomason, how many times have we had that conversation? It's every time, goddamn. Why are you making me wrap that conversation now, Larry? <laughs> I didn't mean to actually say it. Anyway, <laughs> this nigga has gone on B rank missions. And no one has touched him. So for a so for a thirteen year old to do something that full grown ninja cannot do, right? Obviously, you take out the outliers like Akashi, Guy, like those niggas. Like that's that's some goat shit. Yeah, but who's to say these ninjas on these B rank missions? Jonin on B rank missions, by the way, because they shouldn't be doing B ranks if they're Jonins. Why? Like you, you could say they're just trash. We don't even know what Joni went against Gara to like not touch him. It might just be trash people. And like, okay, he had a he had a a defining moment in that in that arc. But one could say Naruto, the worst ninja in his class, 
who only knows one jutsu and only performed it well because he was pissed, kicked one of the top tier guys in his class and won. That should be a GOAT moment. Similar to Rock Lee. Nah. Okay. I don't think that's the same. Well, no, because, like, I mean, it's a feat. You, you have to, you know, so look, look, now what you're doing is you're comparing that moment to stuff that happens later. Ever since that moment, the, uh, like, Kakashi, okay, so, like, Rock Lee hits Gar, right? At that time, no one else in their class could have done that. Kakashi was like, oh, you now need to be as fast as how, like, as fast as Rock Lee was. Everyone needed to now match what Rock Lee had set. Like he said, a president now. Like if you, if you want to fight this nigga, you have to be. This has to be your minimum. All right, and yet his class, which was like, uh, which was Neji, basically was like, I could do that, Neji. I could do that. Neji bro. could not I have do done that. <laughs> Neji says he could. Neji, He's like, nice job. Not, Neji no. basically was like gloating to himself, like, what does that mean to me? I no, can, in, I can still in be that time, in that time, no, Neji was Neji just being cocky. Neji could not have beaten Gara. Neji would have died. Yeah, if he was Neji just and, kind of looking down on if Lee. If Neji and Lee fought, Lee would definitely win if he used the gates. Neji would fucking die. I mean, he did, but... That's <laughs> <laughs> foul, bro. Oh, that was that's a good one. foul. Nah, you're one. not gonna disrespect him like that, bro. That was a good one. Because while I didn't fuck with Neji when he first... When he when they first showed his character, bro... Nah, bro. After, after, after he redeemed himself... After the tuning exams... That nigga really worked hard to redeem himself, he did, bro. He did, yeah. You're not going to disrespect him like that, bro. That man did not need to die. But, but um, anyways, yeah, no. even For if that, we just even yeah, if we ahead. just don't focus on that moment, Lee is still a GOAT. No I'm count. not saying he's not a GOAT. I'm saying that that's not a moment that defines him as a GOAT to me. Well, that's Anything. definitely everybody's breakout moment of like, Oh, oh shit! As far as like Lee being... is fucking insane. Yeah, that was, just, insane. that was just the starting moment of facts, that. Facts, facts. Like I, I'm not saying I like that's the moment I liked him, because every yeah. other moment before that was like this motherfucker's annoying. Uh, has... Now I'm gonna lie, Zenny two vibes. But <laughs> still, after that, I was like, okay, I need to see this nigga more. He's insane. I fuck with it. But when I say it's a goat moment, no. That's one of the most watched fights in Naruto, like, and that's because of Lee. I get it. And there's a lot of fights that I would see in Naruto that probably won't make the goat list. But that's everybody else's opinion. I don't think this one right here is goat to me. And if anything, they should have given him more fights to show his like potential has grown. Hell. Me, my favorite fight with Rock Lee is him and Kimimaru. Drunk that, and Fist, favorite that's, fight that's with him. Best fight, one of the best, top five now, best fights. If, best you, know, if you told me that this is what makes him a go, I'd be like, yeah, because I don't know because drunk. That nigga would have lost though. Who would have lost? Lee. If Gar I mean, Gar showed up and they still almost lost. If it wasn't, I mean, if yeah. it wasn't for him getting sick. Like honestly, honestly, we can now turn this into a conversation of, of why Kimi Mar was one of the goats. Like if that nigga wasn't sick, like he would have. They gave him the Itachi treatment. I mean that's facts, but he was still wiping everybody. He was still wiping people. He was still wiping people. I know that's what I'm saying. And the fact that you gotta get this motherfucker who's got more experience than the last time we saw him, and is now drunk, kicking his ass. That's crazy to me. Cause he, that he that like, shows me. That that shows me you have the potential to whip anybody if you just stop fucking caring about your moves. Nah, bro, he wasn't like he, you make it sound like he was being down on King Mar. Like he really wasn't. Like it was a pretty was drunk. Fight. Nah, like he that was he was like getting hits and yeah, but like even you could even like argue if he was getting hits in. To be fair, like it was he was, it was, it was back and forth. <clears throat> he was just confused. If anything, he was he was having a hard time reading the moves. Mm-hmm. And that's that's that Obviously. was it. <laughs> hey, but like once that wore off, like, that lasted what like two minutes. And once that wore off, like Kumar was getting back on his ass. Hey, either way, drunken fist only want to do it. Yo, honestly, if you really wanted to see some drunken fist, 
they should have given my man a bottle of sake during the fourth grade ninja war. Uh -oh. Sent him at a whole platoon of white Zetsu and was like, yo, that go. That shit would have happened. <laughs> bro, bro, I'll tell you. Like, bro, oh, is this the gate open? Oh, literally, Elise, <laughs> give him some nunchucks. Give him some nunchucks, get him drunk, and then just have him fight off an army. I bro, let him tell him. Realistically, you could have sent that man after Madara and be like, yo, see what you can do. Would he have won? Most likely not. I would have died if I He would have had to <laughs> but He would have got some licks, crazy though. hits in. I don't even know if he would have. <laughs> Nah, bro. My homie just needs to fly and drop a plane off. That's all he has to do. Nah, nah, man. Nah, nah. I mean, I feel like he's. Not... I nah, feel bro. like I feel like seventh gate open. Drunken Fistley is getting two clean hits in. Nah, if you if you ain't got some type of ninjutsu against this god tier ninjutsu user, you're not touching him. Because uh, all guy? he has to do. My guy. Okay, my guy unlocked a god tier. Taijutsu move that okay. will kill you. Yeah, a seventh man. gate ain't gonna do shit because it didn't. But you have to remember, even Guy was afraid of Lee when Lee got drunk. That's a yeah. fact. That's a yeah. fact. Just because of how unpredictable that nigga was. And what? Hey. Yo, honestly, hey. if you get Lee you drunk. Either... You're beating any shot like the showering gun's not gonna help you with that because you're like either telling me that his drunk mode is that op. Or it ain't. So if it, it is. is, it's a goat moment. That's it. I what? feel. I feel like. I feel like he gets at least two clean hits in because Madara is not gonna be able to predict what he does. Because like even with the sharing gun, he's gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck's about to happen next. I don't know. I still think that nigga can just fly and just drop a planet on him. I don't know what he's gonna do with that. You wild, bro. I mean, uh, realistically, if you ain't got new jutsu to fucking... <laughs> Honestly, realistically, with how fast Lee is, he probably just waited to that thing, got, like, really like really close to the earth, jumped on that shit, and just, like, ran up it. Just, to like, like, hey, bro, I'm just about to use it like against you. It. I would have liked to see it. But I feel like, I feel like those moments make... It, they have to, like, make Lee, Lee at least, like, bottom tier go. I don't know. I don't. See I it. agree that he's definitely up there. Jake just stay wilding. We all know this. It's nothing. No, whatever. Different. The fact you let him just you, say you, no. He's saying no minutes, just to say no. So nah, that's I don't, three. I'm, that's this, three this yeses for change. him, and one no. Is that what I'm hearing? Says a man who does didn't finish Dragon Ball. Y'all can have that. Yes, I did finish I Dragon did. Ball. I haven't started Dragon Ball Z. Listen. listen. Tyson's sister almost beat you, and she just started while you was halfway through. That is a fact, Okay, bro. so they you can have you. halfway through Shippuden, hey, and she still can have you. As far as I see, it's two to we one. We have gone over this, why it took me so long. It's still... It still don't change the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next recommendation for GOAT. Anybody got a, a statement? I mean, I got an easy one, bro. Like, this one is easy, bro. Madara. Madara is... Yeah, they that they, they told us he was a goat. Yeah, it was, that's pretty much it. That was just like, easy. Like, that's, easy. That's really all you that's needed, bro. But just talk like people talking about him. Like, how much of a goat do you have to be, like, for niggas to talk about you well after they think you have died and they still get scared of you? It's very fair. Like that's disgusting at that point. Because he's lo his name is Loki bitching like the third Hokage. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're what people consider, like, the god of shinobi for your time, and you're getting scared at, a, like, of the name of a nigga you think has been dead for over a hundred years. Not over a hundred years, but, like, almost a hundred years? Should it be like that? Like, like that's what? just, that's just, that's just moderate straight black force energy, bro. That's a yeah, fact. It's kind of hard to beat. That's black a fact. Energy. And if God is, like, <laughs> real, like. Uh, of course, like if you if you have Madara, you gotta throw in Hashirama. Like those are those okay. are like one goat per anime. Because otherwise, we're just gonna sit here for an hour. Don't, Naruto, no, Naruto, don't Naruto. just, just <laughs> I'm just Naruto, saying. Naruto produce. I want to say Naruto has produced the most the most goats in anime, and that's fine. What is he goat one goat per anime. <laughs> Why? Because you know you know DBZ don't got that many. No, it's right. because oh, we need to wait. talk about multiple anime. <laughs> Yeah, and they got goats, not as much as Naruto. That's Naruto fine. More characters, but we want to show variety. Okay, throw one up, Tyson. Fair? Throw Fair? one up, Tyson. Go, yeah, throw one up. Tyson, don't All say right. Goku either. 
Bro, if I was talking about Dragon Ball Z, I wouldn't have to talk about Goku. Okay, 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 okay. He told me Yamcha. If we want to talk about <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, shut up, stop, stop. If we want to talk about Dragon Ball Z, we could definitely easily throw Piccolo up there. Ah, no, hell yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fact. I'm a, uh, yo, uh, yo, bro. Not a stepdad, but a dad who stepped up. That's that nigga. <laughs> yo, Piccolo, honestly, yo, it's crazy. So, uh, Crunchyroll did this, uh, uh, Black History Month, oh, uh, thing. Like, <laughs> really Piccolo <laughs> was the number one. <laughs> Piccolo was number one on that list. I can tell you, a lot of anime fans were probably pissed at that. No! Movie. No, no bro. Everyone loved it. What are you talking there's, about? There is definitely a huge faction. Of it's, people it's, who don't think Piccolo is black. It's white fans, bro. <laughs> Niggas from day one have been like, Piccolo is black. Facts. That's funny, bro. It's oh, not that he dude. gives off black Air Force energy. He gives off black energy, period. He gives off black dad energy. <laughs> really, though. <laughs> oh, I, was, I got you. I got you. Go right here. Bro. What's up? Aaron Yeager. Oh, yeah. I don't know nothing about it, so y'all can talk on it. I don't know know about this either. Okay, so like, yo, some of the... If you look at early, early on Aaron Yeager, like, so it's like season one, season two, maybe not. Season three, and definitely season four, right? We could just look at season four, like that one season solidified this nigga at Black Force energy out the wazoo. Shoot, season one. Right then and there. This man, this man created a whole plan to attack this attack this town, basically attack the world government, because there was, like, a world government meeting, right? And when uh, his love interest was like, you're killing civilians and kids, he just stared at her. This nigga has broken golden anime <laughs> rules. rules. Tyson rules your show started, bro. Waiting for niggas to power up? That's your shit. He said no. <laughs> he, he said he's no. With Dragon Ball Z, like, yeah, bro, sit the fuck down. <laughs> I'm not saying like I'm just saying bro, like, bro, like, my anime, like, bro. Like, like, like this nigga's breaking golden anime rules. Like you wait for the nigga to power up, right? He's like they were doing that and he punched them in the face and was like, stop. And just beat them to death. You know what that reminds me of? Android 17. Right. Yes, bro. <laughs> Honestly, for that moment, you could throw Android 17 up there. Like, why is he a goat? Because he said no, you're not powering up. That's funny as shit, bro. Bro, I know we said one goat per anime, and it's not even gonna be Naruto, bro. It's not even gonna be Naruto. But one, right. one, one that has to, no, 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 bro. <laughs> one that has to be on this list, bro. I don't care what no one says. One that has to be. It's, it's a very specific time period for this character, bro. Teen Gohan. Teen Gohan. Yeah, Teen, I'll say that. Oh, yeah. Teen Gohan yeah. has to be like. Man, save the world. It has to be. It has <laughs> to be like. World. It has to be Gohan with an asterisk, but like. This saga, bro, just the cell <laughs> saga, <laughs> and then oh, that, God. and those two episodes in the Majin Buu saga. Yeah, I was about to say Majin Buu saga. It was supposed to be the Majin Buu saga. It was supposed to be the Majin Buu saga, and then no. it was like, well, shit, he hung me again, <laughs> bro. You don't know how happy I was when he showed up on that battlefield, and Dude, Majin Buu was like, you wanna, work. you wanna fight, little man, and he was like, fight you? No, I wanna I kill you. Kill I was you. like. Oh, my nigga back in his bag. He's back in his bag. And then he gets absorbed. <laughs> I was like, I missed you, bro. I missed you. I don't know who this other nigga was dressing up as the great Sam man. I don't know who that was. <laughs> he was great Sam man. my nigga. Oh, gosh. I'll it's say, I'll say Team Gohan. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do like Aaron Yeager. I think I thought he – I knew he was going to be the GOAT since season one. Because that nigga refused to die after he got ate. And everybody's like, I'm the main character. I don't die. Got Get eaten and still is alive. I was like, okay, that's that's a go moment for me. The motherfucker was the Titan. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. You know you have to throw Ren Goku. Yes, okay. sir. You have I, I, okay. yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know what everybody was gonna say when I if I was gonna say it. But I'm glad you said it. That motherfucker deserves it. All the flowers, all the stars. Because I mean, well, well, I missed the name you said. Rengoku. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't think anybody can argue that. Oh, still my favorite character. How? To this day. How? Name me one anime character who gets one movie and is being 
beloved ever since. That's what I'm saying. He gets one, one movie, movie, dies, and he's one of the more I famous will, characters I in anime. I will never forgive them for killing him. <laughs> he had time. He had so much time. Oh my god, I wanted to cry when he died. He oh my god. god. Yeah, I wanted him to go back to his dad and just tell him, see this? This is me, bitch. This is me. I did I this. Got, I did this with your sword. I did this. And ah, I killed him. Oh, I'm so... That definitely would have been fire. <laughs> Listen. I, honestly, Listen. I just... I spent this whole time thinking of like any other character, like... And I, I can think of like some like well-liked characters like you've only seen in like a movie. Well, ooh, I don't know. Broly. I mean, before this, before this latest movie, like Broly was only in one. No, no, he was in three movies. Yeah, before the latest movie, Broly. I don't know if you would consider him a goat of anime, but he was definitely one of the more popular just because of like the sheer black force energy that nigga was given. I'll say he was popular, but like he always had power though. Like to say that you always had power like that, he didn't do <laughs> something goat like. Basically, yeah, he, was, he just started off that way, and I don't. Yeah, he was destroying galaxies. He destroyed a galaxy. He, he was just casually one. doing that shit, though. Well, that's like know? me saying I'm gonna start an anime with a character that's already OP. Okay, oh, yeah, no, yeah, he's yeah. a goat. It's like you know what I mean. I can, I don't think he should do. You have to get to that point. You gotta. You have get to be to that introduced, point. and then somehow, some way, you are turned into a goat. Well. That's not necessarily true because we just talked about Madara and Hashirama. Well, listen, they were Madara, introduced as goats. That nigga died, and his plan still happened the way he knew it would happen. But like, like that was, deserves it. But what I'm saying is like, even before that though, like when we first heard like when we first heard those names, they were already introducing them with like goat status. Okay, I'll, I I can kind of explain I, this then. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> so with. Madara specifically, uh-huh. I think it's more so the fact that it was the fact that his plan was unfolding was the moment that he would be considered a goat. Because while he was doing all of those goat-like things in his past, it wasn't until later in the show you could say, oh shit, this nigga a goat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can say oh. Hashirama is a goat per se, but he doesn't stand he's, up in the same way that Madara does. Fact, he's you just a go by comparison. Okay. Hashirama so, is just a go by comparison. There you go. Okay, I get it now. So, like, even though, like, when they were introducing them, the, like, there was all this, like, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Like Exposition? Yeah, exposition, like, under their names. Like, it was, like... Then there were, like, moments, like, where they were actually introduced to the show where, like, the audience was like, oh, you were right. Like, he really is that nigga. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I get it. I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying now. But you can't just be... Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. I so, got like... You. Uh, I don't really need to watch more anime. My anime list is just so small. I we can throw... I, 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 I got a list, bro. I got a list, bro. I got one. <laughs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Colonel Mustang versus Envy. In Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, Mustang is a oh, go! Yeah, bro. Yeah. Mustang's a go! Don't mess with the wrath of Mustang, my boy. Yo! Honest, oh, I can't believe I forgot about that nigga. I forgot about that nigga. I was like, yeah. 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 like where's Larry gonna pull up this full metal alchemist, bro? Yeah. Like up until that point, like we didn't think these niggas could die. Exactly. And he, I've... this nigga, carved that shit into his hand and just kept exploding. I was like, oh, this nigga's built different. Yeah, <sighs> but yeah, that that's crazy. He does deserve it because these niggas were technically technically immortal. And Colonel Mustang strode up to the scene and was like, I'm going to show you why that's wrong. I'm going to put these gloves on, and I'm going to bitch slap you, all right? Watch this. Hold this L. Snap. If nothing's left, nothing can be immortal. (laughs) (laughs) That's a fact. If nothing's left, it can't be immortal. (laughs) That's a fact. Oh, at first I was feeling sorry. I was feeling sorry for the It kind of does make you feel sorry. Like, that's crazy. And I hated this man the entire... I hated Envy the entire series. But it wasn't until Mustang sh- like showed up on the scene that I actually started feeling sorry. And that's the first time I've ever felt sorry for a villain that I hated. That's crazy to me. Honestly, I know... I, I don't think because it's like... I, this This has to be said, right? Since we brought up Full Metal Alchemist, Mace mm-hmm. Hughes is a GOAT. Mace Hughes. I he's the that. he's the nigga who died. Like, uh, not Envy. Uh, no. Well, yeah, Envy killed him, didn't he? I think you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. So Larry said, um, Mustang and uh, Envy. 
but the fight I was thinking of was Mustang and Lust. Ah, uh, that's okay. that's the one where he. That's the first time we saw them die. But mm. Envy's the one who kills kills Mace Hughes. But like, he still got the information out that needed to be got out before he died. Yeah. For that, I guess for for the universe he's in and like the things that he did, yeah. The only reason I would object is because I didn't get to see much screen time of him. Like I always knew he was a good person and a good character. I it just he wasn't flushed out enough for me to like give him was that. It? Okay, we'll say honorable mention he that nigga. I don't yeah, know. I, mean, one of that. The, I mean he was the second okay. saddest death. He, I would say uh, he was the second saddest death. Uh, yeah, the first being the girl. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like, yeah, and it's it's really made like, like truly, truly sad. Like when you see like Colonel Mustang's reaction to the death. It's not it's even like, his oh, family it's too, rain. bro. She's like, no, oh, it's not. It's like, I'll say no, that was a goaded scene. Definitely raining. I'll say it's a goaded scene. Yeah, it says I'm, it's raining. Let me tell you how many people reference that shit, bro. It's fucking raining. No, it's not. Oh, it's raining. And like, tear comes down. I'm like, oh. She really said, you got it, OG. You got it. <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna lie. That, was, uh, that scene killed me. That scene killed me. Um, I will say, and Tyson will probably agree, Saitama. I don't know about that one, Chief. Although, nah, bro. Mugen Rider. Know, bro. Moomin Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even watch that show, and I know that nigga. I know he's that nigga. Yeah, from this universe. Yeah, yeah. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, I agree. You gotta throw that man on the. <laughs> All I've seen from that show is the fight between Saitama and uh, Genos, and Moomin Rider tried his motherfucking hardest. <laughs> Yo, Tyson, you remember when it was raining in the Sea King? Oh, Basically, no, he's like, Lord. you challenge me. He's like, yeah, I challenge. And then he gets beat. <laughs> Let me say, he gets beat. I'm not going to lie. That shit, <laughs> that scene hits whenever you move on. And he's like, no, I'm not finished yet. I'm he like, oh, my God. In monologue, looking to the spectators. You see everyone <laughs> cheering for him. He's like, I can do this. He gets slapped away. <laughs> Like, you gotta give that man ghost status, not for what he did, but for heart, bro. That oh, man got Lord. heart. Oh my god, yo! At one point, I was like, "Yo, please shut the fuck up, because God, if you die, I'm gonna be so pissed." <laughs> bro, honestly, the fact that he survived, I'll give him ghost status for surviving. Yeah, bro, <laughs> right. Oh, he survived? Oh, yes. He survived. Oh God, <laughs> he's in the hospital. <laughs> I think the rest of the season. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'll give you that one uh, to go for that, bro. Oh, because in a world, like, in, a, in a world where you need powers that can defeat them god tier monsters, that motherfucker is first in line to fight. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy to me. But, Let me uh, tell you, not me. <laughs> I'm gonna be on an evacuation bus, my boy. I'm gone. But and uh, even a bike, a bike. But. But I was thinking, uh, in the lines of that anime, though, I was going to give it to oh. Garu for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll give it yeah. Much I've said, I, yeah, bro, me, that nigga, what? that nigga is something different, bro. Let me tell you that if if anything, it feels like it's about him. <laughs> <laughs> the whole manga feels like it's about him. It's definitely some fucking character building with that nigga, bro. Oh, there are man. very few. Manga I am reading. There's Dragon Ball that I'm keeping mm-hmm. up with. There's Doctor Stone that I just started to try to keep up with because I was tired of waiting for season three. <laughs> <laughs> and there's One Punch Man. And fucking bro, let me that say hey, something different. I ain't never seen a man get beat down so much and still fight. Not like, only that, but he's gut. he's still fighting his master and his master's brother. Taking them on two v one, and is still able, even when beaten brutally, is still able to get the fuck away. He hasn't had a time to recover, by the way. None. Like, 
<laughs> after fighting shit loads of A tiers that were trying to fuck him up. If just... I ever watch a show, it's gonna be for that nigga, bro. <laughs> it's, it's just it's... him. <laughs> bro, it's... he's got at least seven, eight <laughs> shattered bones. Some he ain't bro, still fighting. Seven, like, eight? Still... Come on, quit playing. It was... <laughs> I, I forgot. A whole fucking <laughs> foundation fell on this nigga and he's still fighting. It don't make sense. So I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Honestly, I hope he beats One Punch Man. I hope because that motherfucker deserves it. He went through too much shit. What I was thinking recently is I feel like what's happening at least past the anime and the manga, Mm -hmm. what's happening to him is basically us seeing basically what happened to Saitama to get his power. Yeah, I think Because, so. I mean, it's basically the same thing of just kind of pushing yourself Except past that just, limit that they were talking just, about. He just has to do it for, uh, what, three more years? <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's the fact that he's pushing himself past that limiter that he's given. That's a fact. Yeah. And I, I think I see Which is why. Really interesting. I think I see why we, we won't agree that Saitama is a GOAT. Mainly because I'm waiting for more of Saitama's backstory. As to how he got to the point that he got to. No, you saw it. That was it. I mean, you know, like you see, so, you see the very beginning. Yeah, like and why no. he becomes who he becomes, but like a the ten in-between? kilometer run. I know uh, that a hundred push ups, a hundred sit ups, and like whenever he fights Crab Latte and all that shit, like that I understand, like what started it. But I want to see the in between. That like you, the pretty the much shine. get the. That's it. But I don't know glimpses. what more you want. You get glimpses of him, like, still being that hero and him losing his hair and stuff like that. You get glimpses, but, like, I still think there's a story to tell with him. And I think that's the There's final really not, thing. though. Hey, I think there is because you're no one thought you was going to get side character development more than the main character. So I think the last thing that this Arthur does... Is ex- is go in depth into Saitama? I I don't think so. I think they made it pretty cut and dry, my boy. I don't know. Man just trained so hard he broke his limiter. That was it. Hey, I still want to see. I still want to see more of that story. Uh, psh- I still want to <laughs> see more. Of it. If you want to see more of Saitama, I mean that's on you. But ain't no more, bro. I'm telling I mean, you, that's I, I, I want to see more just, of I'm the show. I don't think you understand One Punch Man the same way. I just don't think you understand it. Well, that's, I get it, it, but I would still like to say, okay, we're going to end the One Punch Man series about One Punch Man. The final arc will be about the main character. That's what I would like. I don't know. I think if they're going to end it, they're going to end it Garo versus Saitama, and that's it. It's just going to be an epic, go crazy with the art style well, budget no, kind of fight. The way they're it. setting up, they're setting up for another arc. Uh, hey, hey, I, I ain't gonna complain about it. I I'm ain't not complaining. Complain I just want the anime to drop this shit, bro. That's all I That's fucking want. Working on a third season? I don't know. Third, I don't know. fourth, fifth. I, they got so much material. They really do. They could at least set up two sagas. Honestly, easy. I forgot what happened before Garu got into this fight, bro. It's crazy. I, I no, I remember. I remember. But yeah. One Punch Man is something serious, though. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, one oh. question. Uh, if you got one, you can go ahead. Um, I was going to say Master Roshi. I was thinking from, that. From the Tournament of Power. I would give it more to him in the beginning in Dragon Ball, personally. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because think okay. about it. Uh, let's go to the point where it's Jackie Chun versus Goku. <laughs> Jackie Chun. Oh, man, the man oh, blows up the moon. He literally blows up the moon, bro. That's just Now, funny. Piccolo does it too, but Roshi was the first to do it. That's a fact. And it was some shit at, at the time. No one was thinking about blowing up planets. <laughs> Why mm. nobody thinking about anything all outside of the ring? They were like, okay, we got to figure out a way to cut off Goku's tail because that's the only thing we've seen so far. Blows yeah. up the moon. Bro, she said, bro, <laughs> how don't we just take care of this problem forever, bro? Really? Oh, if this tail keeps growing back, let's blow up something that won't grow back. The moon. Ignore <laughs> the fact that Piccolo does it again. But. <laughs> I'm going to say, but the moon came back, bro. The moon just came back. Let me tell you, after all, I've heard a lot of shit about like fans getting on the author and shit like that. Uh, I forgot the name of the guy who created Dragon Ball. Akira Toriyama. Uh, 
Toriyama. Um, based off of interviews and shit like fans have been saying, that man doesn't give a fuck about this series anymore. To be <laughs> he fair, wants it to end. <laughs> to be fair, when he was doing Dragon Ball, it was just a gag. It was just supposed to be some funny shit. It wasn't yes. supposed to be nothing taken serious. And then it got serious. People loved the fact it got serious. He kept it a little serious. He still wanted to add his gags here and there. Honestly, he just forgot some details. That's why honestly, <laughs> he forgot some details. A lot of them. Uh, honestly, I feel like if you if you look at it, he's just throwing a lot more bullshit onto the anime. And everybody's like, he's a genius. He's doing great. He's so like, he's God like, damn it. Stop loving my <laughs> shit. He's like, so, so he sits in the room. He's like, all right. Our main character, the guy who can grow a tail. He can grow a He'll grow a tail. And then we'll blow up the moon. Let's see how they like it. We loved it. Like, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. His <laughs> tail is now permanently gone, but his power up makes his hair yellow, his eyes blue, and he gets stronger. We love it. Okay, okay, fine. His hair gets ridiculously long every time he powers up. We want more long hair. Oh, okay. Hair grows. Fine, fine. A god comes in. Okay. There's more than one god. It's inconsistent godhood. Because King Kai is supposed to be a god, but he's not. Okay, a god comes in, and now Goku has to share his power to become a god. We want more. We want a series. Oh, fuck. Fine. <laughs> fine. Fine. Okay, fine. Vegeta. We're going to start shitting on Vegeta. You like that? More. <laughs> nah, bro. When he started shitting on Vegeta, Ultra everybody was like, yo, stop. Yo. <laughs> when he started shitting on Vegeta, because this nigga, this nigga started doing that nigga dirty, bro. <laughs> They were like, hey, 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 yo, they were like, hey, yo, Kira, can I call you Kira? Yo, chill out. <laughs> we love what you put it out, but leave my man's alone, bro. So that that definitely makes Vegeta a goat <laughs> for taking all the <laughs> shit. For taking all that punishment, bro. And still saying, I'm your rival. <laughs> because that man has been through some shit. Honestly, is he's... He's getting he's getting the backlash of, of Yamcha right now. Right, <laughs> Yamcha just out. said, "Hey, Relax. everybody, clown on how y- how Yamcha lost Chi Chi and shit like not Chi Chi shit, oh, uh, Bulma." Oh, but <laughs> Vegeta out here getting disrespected in front of his wife to this day. Yeah, but like with Vegeta, though, like he'll at least still have some like like oh, it's like it's like today. he got shit on, he got shit on, badass moment. He got shit on, he got shit on. Badass moment. With Yamcha, once he started getting shit on in That's, Dragon Ball, was it. it was forever he got shit on, bro. I think to the man point lost where, like, to TN one time, and that just started the streak. <laughs> bro, there was there is a point in Dragon Ball history where Yamcha was a threat. Oh yeah. Think about that. When they first introduced this nigga, people were like, "Oh shit, who's this?" Oh, and we'll now this. Oh, shit. this man gets memed in his own show. He yeah. was he was Goku's very first rival. Now was Vegeta. <laughs> was Vegeta. I'm telling you, it, honestly, I blame Boma. I blame Boma. Some, some, Boma some, making everybody weak. That's a fact. That's a fact, <laughs> bro. No, that's what happens with Goku's rivals, bro. You're you're Goku's rival for a little bit. It's not even. It's not Boma, bro. It's Goku. He's the common denominator in all this. Yamcha, Krillin, Tien, Piccolo. They now serve, Vegeta. They, they serve him, bro. What you mean? It's about him. <laughs> Vegeta. Ve- they listen, serve him. there has not been one. Mm, I don't know. Vegeta just never gets his time to shine. Even when he does, bro, it's it's snatched away. That uh, he, he sacrificed himself in the boo in the boo saga, snatched away. That nigga came right back. <sighs> Honestly, that's at that shit, moment, bro. that's when I knew Boo was just OP. It was too, it was too much. It's when that I knew Vegeta was never gonna have his moments. <laughs> Vegeta's gonna get shit on for the rest of his life. <laughs> the only person who will ever come close to like. Taking Dragon Ball, like Dragon Ball as a whole, away from Goku is Gohan, and they kind of fucked that up already, low key. Hey, bro, hopefully this movie <laughs> fixes it. They ain't gonna fix that shit. Nah, that's what I've been hearing. I'm hearing that this movie like puts Gohan back with, like where he was, like mm. like Mystic Gohan and like hey, everybody, and Team Gohan. Everybody we'll thought Super was going to be different. 2023. Hey, everybody thought the whole moral fight was going to be wait, different. Still, wait, that man is Sensu Bean. Nah, good? hold on, Tyson. When does it come out? Is it not 2023? I thought it was this year. Is it? Yeah. I don't I know. I, June. I saw that uh, announcement when it dropped. I hadn't thought about it since because it was so far away. I'm not even going to cap with you. 
For all I know, it could be this summer. I don't know. I know it was June. Um, if I had to say who... April 22nd. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, that mm. shit's dropping soon. Yeah. If I had to say who another GOAT is... Okay, before you do, I want to ask if we think that Shiro and his sister from No Game No Life are GOATs. Uh, nah. No. 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 Because, like, it's kind of like a whole other, like, Broly thing. They just never, they never lost. So this yeah, like, is just their base. Like, we were introduced to them as niggas who don't lose. Like, they said it in like, the first episode, like, we never lose. Well, as far as we knew, but the thing is, though, is that they're given challenges that for sure they're supposed to lose. And yet, throughout their uh, times trying to, or uh, all these people trying to make them lose, they're just somehow strategizing a, a way through and getting I, these dubs the way no one should be getting them. I feel like if we got more, we could put them on GOAT status. Yeah, they would just fucking we will, drop the fucking Because we will never get maybe more. Five, oh maybe five God. more years, bro. Maybe five more years. <laughs> maybe in another decade, they'll drop a season two. I we'll mean, see. they're doing that with uh, Devil's a Part-Timer, so, and Bleach. Hey, I was just Bleach, thinking that's that. Bro, I, that's, that was the first anime I watched that wasn't a shonen. The devil is a part timer, and I was like, "Yo, this is great." Fire, fun. Bro. This was great. I what he did it. to what he did to Lucifer, I was like, "Oh, that's crazy." Uh, you know who I also am going to argue is not a goat? Who? Yugi Moto. He's not. I, mean, I don't think he is. Uh, that's fair. That I don't think that's. A, I don't think it's a uh, a hot take, but I mean, honestly, the show itself wait. doesn't like lend itself to who. Like you know, you know, what I mean, it doesn't lend itself to to be that. That nigga's a goat, though. Nah, heart of the cards. It's it's cheating. That's all it is. <laughs> How is it cheating? <laughs> no, 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 I'm tired of niggas saying that. Y'all don't make no sense. How is it cheating? I'm pretty sure the like creator confirmed that it was basically drawing. Like whenever he was using it, it was actually putting whatever card he needed on top of the deck. <laughs> I think he's because the cards. that's his lot armor. <laughs> Huh? That's that's just plot armor. That's their version of plot armor. And that make that doesn't that make that's where the reason that doesn't change the fact that's cheating. So, yeah. so is Goku is Goku turning Super Saiyan against Frieza cheating? No, no but every no, form no, after no, that is cheating. Okay. okay. <laughs> every form after that. Nah. Hold on, hold on though, hold on though. Train to get that. Yugi just had to put together a puzzle. Nope. I can do that. Ass kicked. <laughs> so I can put the puzzle together. <laughs> and and do it. Oh, oh no! I wait, 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 ass kicked. Wait, because I can see Larry with a dueling mechanism shit on his arm. I believe in the heart of the cars. And he's this, like, bro, he's just mad it didn't work for him, bro. <laughs> Goku got his ass kicked multiple times. Oh my god. Because <laughs> in that part of the show, they were still doing the Zenkai boost. Yeah. And his homie died. That was it. He didn't do no training. Okay, so with <laughs> with uh, uh, with Yugi, right? <laughs> what if? Because <laughs> let's be real, cards are huge when it comes to probability, right? That's a fact. A deck of fifty-two cards has damn near infinite possibilities, at least to the point where it's impossible for us to act on this out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if one card was out of place during his most important duels. He would not be considered a goat. So because he's lucky, he's a goat. Well, he's Larry. No, I feel saying... like because he's beating a nigga who's like <laughs> actually cheating, like in the show, it's fucking cheating. This he's nigga cheating. is <laughs> looking at motherfuckers' cards and cheating. <laughs> he beat that exactly. nigga. He's a goat. <laughs> if anyone's a goat from Yu-Gi-Oh, it's Joey. He took a shit okay. deck. He sh- okay. took a shit deck and actually improved. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was Yo, with that. Actually, like, he, nah, better <laughs> he said, now that's how you do That's part of the cards. Putting your card at the top of the deck. That motherfucking <laughs> shit. You act like, nah, but like, literally, you acting like Yugi, like, slipped. He was just like, oh shit. He like, Put a card oh, like, like like slipped a card out of his sleeve and put it on the top and was just like oh the heart of the cards. Uh, uh, this is what I need to win. Like no, the nigga okay. just got lucky. He got plow armor. Nah. Niggas get plow armor every day. I feel like also everyone eventually had to like deal with worse shit. You mean, <laughs> oh no, my grandpa was kidnapped. Joey, my sister. No, that died, nigga was bitch. dead. That nigga was dead. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> like yo, OG Yu-Gi-Oh, those niggas were dying. 
Uh, yeah. Shadow Realm? Realm? Fucking the set of, uh, Kaiba, though. His brother Soul got sucked. Like, it, it got taken away from him. Yeah, those niggas were dying. They the went to the same place. I have to deal with that. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, you want to... Like, you... Said... Bro, stop playing, bro. You mad because the nigga got plot armor when everyone got plot armor. Hey, yo, tell Go, me yo, nah, bro, stop. Because, no, because we going back to Goku. The last time that nigga trained was with King Kai. He trained for the Saiyans, got his ass beat, barely won that fight. Like, yo, stop playing. Got a Zenkai boost, went to... Fucking what's that play? Namek beat some niggas up, got his ass kicked by uh Ginyu, beat him up, got his ass kicked by Frieza, and then his homie got and then his homie got shot. And then he now he's strong enough. <laughs> you can't believe that. You but you can't believe a nigga being like, damn, I need a car to win. Also, oh, here it is. I never said that Goku was a goat. So Goku is yeah. absolutely a goat. My nigga, that's the definition. I'm just saying that Yugi wasn't. But you can't say he's not a go and then say Goku is. I don't, I never said he is. Like, I'm Do just, you think Goku's a go? I haven't watched enough Dragon Ball to say that. You, you, you watch yeah, Dragon Ball? Like, you haven't Dragon watched Ball. enough Dragon, Dragon Ball to say that. Dragon Ball Goku is a go. I can say he's a go. I can't say anything past that. So you brought up the whole. You don't uh, stop being a go. No, you brought up the whole Super Saiyan. I can't speak on that. Um, I don't know. A great Saiyan man would like to speak with you. Right? <laughs> Yo, <shut up>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you dirty! You dirty for that! Oh, uh, because I really did say Team Gohan is the goat, bro. Damn, that's crazy. That, uh, you got that one. You got that one. You got that one. You got that one. I don't know, bro. A great Saiyan man calling you right now, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, yo, cry again. Okay, okay. I, something ha- drastic has to happen for you not to be a goat. Oh, like, your God. character has to look, like, unrecognizable. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that whole, that whole UEG oh, and shit, bro, that, oh, y'all niggas just mad it didn't work for you. Oh, God. Hey, that was a good one. That was funny. For the main that said, you be mortal and shit. (laughs) I fucking died. Bro, and also, don't you fuck with Jaden? Oh, yeah. Well, that nigga does the same shit. Hey, yo. Like I'm trying to figure out what your skill is. What <laughs> what you be talking about? I mean, like, bro, I fuck you. Years. That no, man said it. that uh, man said, fuck you, he believed in the heart of the cards. So bro, season two of Yu-Gi-Oh! Right. comes out. My name is Jade. This nigga's name is Jade and Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's Y-U-K-I. Yeah. It's it's Yugi. Oh my lord. Bro, and that shit's pronounced Yugi. <laughs> I don't speak Japanese, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> okay, you're done. <laughs> oh, no, Lord. I'm pretty sure it's actually Y U K I. I think it is. Oh, but like when you hear it, every time you hear that shit, sounds like Yugi, bro. To the point, I thought this nigga was like a a distant relative of this nigga. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say uh, moving on <laughs> to the next one. Ash Ketchum. Uh, that nigga's yeah. not a go, bro. Uh, Pikachu, now I'm that nigga. Right? I don't know. Pikachu's though. a goat. Okay, if <laughs> Ash is goat. gonna be, if Ash is gonna be a goat, what's his goat defining moment? He punched Mewtwo or tried to. Okay. And then okay. that nigga died. Hey, 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 hey. Moomin Rider didn't necessarily win, to be fair. Hey, that nigga's still alive, right? His heart ain't stopped being. My nigga still got that shit pumping. Hey, Ash, Ash he fucking kill him. <laughs> yeah, he came back. Yeah, just to die again in another movie. <laughs> that nigga's died twice. Okay. Hey, how many humans do you know punch me too, though? Okay. Okay. <laughs> on, okay. I'll give, you, I'll give you that. Hold on. Because to be fair, the uh, it might be a fan theory, but it is the most realistic fan theory that all of Pokemon is just Ash's dream. From that first episode. Let's not do that. Then he's not a goat. Let's not do that, bro. Don't do that to my boy. Anything goes beyond that, 
to that Pokemon is just a story being told to a little girl from a mom. Fuck all of that, okay? <laughs> my man Ash is a goat. We're not going to continue these so any further. Why because, is he a goat? Because in the show and the movie, they always feature the mother of the little girl. Of a, sorry, I was on the, the theory. I don't, fuck, I don't care. I don't fuck uh, all of that. He's a goat because he never ages. Uh, okay. listen, I can give no, him a real I was, I was Why is he a goat? I was saying like the Mewtwo fight. Like, OG series Ash... Like, I felt what? like was a goat for like because he punched the nigga. Let me let me put it into let me put it into like that, but also to some of like the uh, like the Charizard versus the Magmar fight. He got Charizard to listen to him. Let me let me let me put it in terms that Larry's just struggling to fucking say. Please, <laughs> Jake. So ba- the reason why Ash is for us, bro. Come that's on. A fact. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> he's basically saying that Ash is a goat because the way Ash cares for Pokemon. Is above and beyond most trainers and like I guess it's Pokemon lovers in general. Like Ash is willing to throw his life on the line for the survival and well-being of Pokemon. He doesn't see it as master and and pet or some shit. He sees it as friend and friend based off the song in the original series. This is my friend. Like you, what you ain't gonna do is disrespect my friend you too. I'm gonna punch you in the face even if it cost me my life. I ain't got no psychic powers and shit like that. I'm gonna show you what it is to be a human who cares about Pokemon. So, sure. like Ash, <laughs> Ash, I will say is the goat because that man's care for Pokemon is pure as it comes. Sure, what Jake said. Man, fuck you, Larry. Man, I could have, I could have uh, defended honest. Ash. Nah, right? Larry, because if we was going by what you said, that nigga would not have been a goat <laughs> because he punched the nigga. Then Rock Lee's a goat. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm still kind of confused with the criteria, but. <laughs> The criteria say, is you say this person's a goat and you try to convince us that he's a goat, whatever the reason may be. Oh god, Pikachu's definitely the uh, uh, the goat though. That motherfucker went to hell for that man. I don't know. <laughs> this nigga beats a legendary like Mewtwo and then loses to a Snivy. That's hey, bro. A, that's I'm a just fact. saying, bro. That's a fact. <laughs> one could argue. Saying. One could argue. Mewtwo let that shit happen. <laughs> he just wanted to experience what it was like to lose one time. That's all. Mm-hmm. He got oh. that Chuck Norris syndrome crazy. Tyson, I got one for you, bro, that you gonna really gonna love. Alright, alright, alright. Leorio. Tell me another nigga! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Leorio bro. from, uh, fucking... Hunter Hunter, bro? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Wait, that's If we wanna talk about a nigga that's a goat... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> if we wanna talk about a nigga being a goat for punching another nigga, bro... Let me tell you. No, <laughs> I knew, I knew that nigga was a goat from episode one. Oh, that nigga, fuck. that nigga was on the boat with Gon and Karapika. Karapika kept calling that nigga Leorio. That nigga kept saying it's Mister Leorio, right? He <laughs> called like, him Leorio for the me. third time. He said, "Bet, little nigga, step outside. We gotta finish the clan off today." I ain't gonna lie. And then was like, out and, and when Karapika was like, take that shit back, he said, nigga, I told you it's Mr. Leorio. Step your little ass outside. <laughs> I was like, I ain't gonna lie. That's a big move, bro. He said, step outside. I'm like, oh, you stepping outside the head of your business? It's not Respect. just stepping outside. It's the fact they were stepping outside of a boat while it's raining. <laughs> This nigga was like, man, fuck that hurricane. Step outside. You're not gonna disrespect me, little nigga. <laughs> oh my god. And then you find that nigga was us you from this fight, nigga bro. Was Come 19. on, let's go. He was 19. You're like, hey, my nigga said, don't disrespect me. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a go that's goat tendencies right there. That's oh fuck. Crazy, that was build up for him punching Gone's dad in the face. <laughs> Because he surely socked the fuck up that nigga. Bro, for what he should have done is beat that nigga the same way that Gon was beating Pito, bro. That's all. Oh, um, God. God, that nigga was deserving of that no, shit. Bro. Go, go the, hey, we got to bring up Gon just, just for this, just for the, just, just for, for that the glare. Just, just for the glare, bro. Ass, bro. My God, nigga, I'm happy about that. My nigga sat down, put one leg under the other, arm on knee, and just stared. Was like, my nigga, better, only my nigga because... better make it, nigga. My nigga better. <laughs> <laughs> that's only because he was begged to just don't do anything bro there's an innocent little girl there it's not worth it i don't care i want a bitter ass <laughs> hey hey i knew goals with this shit when he said <laughs> you hey save her life fine but 
I'm gonna be real with you. I don't give a fuck if she's in this room. I get you right now, right here, right now. You I knew had all types of energy in his eyes. Stone is eleven years old and said, "Bro, if my nigga don't make it, you walk into the afterlife with them." I swear to God. And then they, and the nigga didn't make it. They were like, "You going?" Was like, "Hey, bro, I said what I said, bro." Bro, I couldn't stand going the entire series up until <clears throat> that big nigga was testing him and said, "Bro, if I'm gonna know." that you built for this shit, I want you to kill me. Hit me with the most power you got. He's like, okay. Just that intense stance. He's like, <laughs> show me. And he's like, okay, 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 okay. You good, bro. You good. Bro, nah, you bro. knew he was on some demon shit at that moment, bro. Nah, you knew, you knew Gun was built different after, uh, during the Hunter Hunter exam. When uh he woke up after he uh he won his match, um oh yeah he was ready to be with the shit with uh he, he walked Killers, into bro. the room and he after hearing what happened with uh, uh what's my nigga's name Killua yeah Killua his walked brother. up to that man's brother and was like yo where your brother at nigga <laughs> where my where my nigga at <laughs> everybody was like yo go and you can't fuck with him I'm like bro stop talking to me bro he literally he really grabbed his fucking wrist ready to broke shatter his, some broke shit. his <laughs> broke his shattered his arm and it was like yo tell me where my nigga at, bro. <laughs> oh go and just not play about his friends but nah. Leorio Def, nah, my bad, my bad. Mr. Leorio Def, <laughs> <laughs> that one sentence, we gonna finish off the fucking filthy bloodline today. I was like, oh, this man's built crazy. <laughs> that nigga was with the smoke no cap, bro. Oh, Killer would gotta be a goat, too. Oh, yes. The second, you saw that nigga just casually rip out a nigga heart. That man, <laughs> that, that man go. was just walking. The dude Instant turned around and was like, what you doing? He was like, nigga, this is your heart, bro. <laughs> that man said, that man like, said, what? watch it. He said, watch it. Wait, you didn't watch Hunter Hunter, did you, Larry? No. Okay, so there's this character, Killua, right? Yeah. This man was raised, he, his family, his families are, they're assassins, right? That's all they do. Like, his whole family, they're assassins. Okay. Right? And Killua is, the, like, I want to, he's the best out of all of them, right? 100%, bro. Right next to the grandpa, if he's not the best. Right. So during the hunter exam, they had to fight uh, prisoners, right? Uh-huh. And like they're like if like for the prisoners, like if you make the like they had a time limit, and like if the time limit runs out, we take out we take out like X amount of years off of your sentence, right? Yeah. Right. Um. And the examinees like they just had to beat them to get past, right? So the killer was the first to go up, and the dude was like, "Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fight to the death, right?" Because killer was eleven. So he, he just expected him to get scared. But Killer was, was, like, raised to be an assassin. So this nigga just walked up and, like, ripped out his heart so fast that no one knew what happened. And then turned around and was holding his heart in a bag and was basically like, <laughs> watch your heart beat its final beats. <laughs> you, like, why, bro? Like, what are you... I yeah, was that, I was confused, bro, because I had never seen that level of Black Force energy before. Really though, bro, that shit was something crazy. <laughs> oh God, bro. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know if I got any more. Oh, uh, Corey from Corey in the house. Definitely, chill, definitely bro. the chill, chill. one. Chill. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know if that one as well. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I, I don't watch a ton of anime. I only watch the high quality, and it's kind of hard for me to pick out like goat goats like that. Well, that's fair. I'm just trying to remember. I mean, you know, I know you don't watch One Piece, but if I had to say one from One Piece, I would say Zoro. Oh yeah, Zoro definitely got it. Um, ah, I don't think now, anybody else is up there. We got ex- we got to explain why this man's a goat. We can't just say that. So, Zoro. So, Tyson, how much you know about One Piece? Uh, I watched enough uh to see Zoro's background in terms of like his training and everything as a kid. Okay. So later on in the series, right? Uh, they go against. So there are these uh seven warlords, which are basically pirates sanctioned by the world government. So their bounties are frozen. Um, they just have to like if the government calls them, then they have to show up, right? Mm-hmm. Um. So, Luffy and his crew run into one of them, 
and they spend all this time like fighting like he lives in a castle so like fighting his minions trying to get to him because their shadows were taking taken because that's the niggas power and the sun hits them when the shadow's gone they disintegrate right so they spend like days fighting this nigga and his army right because he has a whole bunch of zombies after that fight right and fighting like the head honcho because this nigga's strong as fuck they fight this uh they fight another warlord named bartholomew and this nigga's kind of like a cyborg he just keeps shut, uh sending out these uh like energy beams right he knocks luffy out bartholomew knocks luffy out um everyone else is knocked out except for zoro and sanji right zoro's like hey uh because bartholomew came to collect luffy's head and zoro was like hey i can't let you do that like that's my captain <clears throat> take mine instead like i'm a notorious like pirate hunter take my head instead and Bartholomew's like, you're willing to die for your captain. And Zoro's like, yeah. So uh, Sanji's, um, Sanji was going to do it, but Zoro knocked him out. Right? Then Bartholomew, they walk, up, they walk away. Um, Bartholomew grabs Luffy's body. And then he had his power. He's, it's, it's called like, the push-push fruit. So you can just like repel a lot of things. But one oh, of the things mighty push-push fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. But one of the things he can do is he basically, he pushed out all the pain, fatigue, um, like, any negative thing that, like, Luffy had on his body at that time, he pushed it all out into this giant red bubble, right? And he was like, okay, this is all, like, the pain and fatigue your captain has, like, acquired in, in these, like, these two fights alone, right? Here's a little sample. Sends a tiny-ass bubble. As all right goes in his chest, it looks like this nigga has gotten shot fifty fucking times, <laughs> right? And he was like, "That was just a sample." He's like, "What you need to do is take all of this, and I'll let you guys live. You're most likely gonna die. Like, there is no logical way you're gonna survive this, right?" He's like, "Here's a sample." Da 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 da. He's like, "Okay, do what you're gonna do, right?" Zo just jumps into that motherfucker. God damn. Okay. Right. Fast forward. Everyone's waking up. Luffy's like, oh shit, I feel great. Da 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 da. Everybody's like, yo, what happened? Where the warlord go? Da 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 da. Sanji wakes up. He's like, oh shit, War Zoro, because he's he was the last one awake. Yeah. He runs. He sees Zoro. Zoro is standing in a crater, arms crossed, blood everywhere, Uncle like Yonko puddles of blood shit, everywhere. Sanji's like, where's the warlord? What happened? Why are you all bloody? Zoro just goes, nothing happened, and that's it. He leaves it at that. I can respect it. I respect it. <coughs> yeah, it's it's one of the first times that I've actually seen he him uh you know show respect for his captain so actively. You know what I mean? Like you mm -hmm. know he's got respect, but it's like the first time you get you to actually see, see that shit. Yeah, I get that. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I'll say one more, and I'll be I'll be good to like be done with with this episode. Of a podcast, um, oh fuck! I started with an L. I had this nigga ready. Do you remember the Levi show? Ackerman. Oh, Levi Ackerman. Oh yeah. Levi Ackerman. Oh yeah. Attack on Titan. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen you. You started watching Attack on Titan, right, Tyson? Or you just didn't no, finish? I those four, two, three episodes, whatever the fuck. <laughs> that was enough for me, bro. Well, it just wasn't it. Pretty much, uh, Levi is the best 3D maneuvering uh, soldier they have. This man can take on multiple Titans by himself with just one, with just like one pair of blades. He's just that good. While everybody who goes against uh, else who goes against Titans, a Titan can probably lead to like, on average, five or six bodies, just gone. And this man can take out on average five to six titans. Him alone. Tyson. So like, oh, go ahead. Tyson, this nigga is so cold that he fought this character named Zeke, right? And Zeke's homies, Berthold and Reiner, they were like, "Yo, watch out for Levi. That nigga's cold." Zeke was like, "Bro, ain't no one colder than me." Levi is so cold that when Levi fought Zeke, Zeke had a flashback to his niggas telling him not to fight Levi. Um, and not like, 
some of the other things that have happened to Levi is <coughs> when he did beat Zeke and he had him decapitated, he had Zeke in a hole that if he moved, he would detonate the wagon that he's carrying him in. Zeke doesn't give a shit, which honestly, Zeke is a goat in his in his own respect. <laughs> but Zeke blew the shit up because he knew he wouldn't die. He blew the shit up with basically half his fucking skull still intact and blows up Levi. Levi has lost, I think, what, a leg? Some leg. fingers. Yeah. And half his face is, like, fucked up, and he's in stitches. He still is taking out, on average, five to six Titans solo with three fingers. It's fucking crazy. This mm-hmm. man deserves that shit. <clears throat> And I don't know what his driving his driving force is just wanting to see humanity be better while also being the cleanest motherfucker that ever lived. So that cleanest as in like like he cleans a lot. Yeah, hygiene wise. So I will give yeah. Levi. I mean, shit, you would have to if you with all that you know he got going on with his body. I should got to stay clean. <laughs> <That's a fact. laughs> I'm a. I got I got one last goat, and this he has to be a goat because he is the only anime character who has ever done this in the history of anime. Okay. Shosuke Aizen no, no. is the only nigga to stop That's a main amazing. character's theme music. Wait, what? He's from Bleach. He's, oh. He was one of the main villains in Bleach. Ichigo, the main character of Bleach, it's this nigga show, was running at him full <laughs> speed with his with his like his sword was in its final form, at the time. Right, he was running at him full speed, and that nigga, his theme music is blaring, bro. The black lady is singing. Ichigo's theme music is a black lady singing. Mm-hmm. She is singing her heart out. Ichigo's running at this man, goes to slash him. Eisen stops. His blade with a finger, and his theme music record scratch. That's funny. <laughs> Damn, crazy. That's funny. You know what? I, you know what song came up into my head for some reason. Yeah. One Punch Man's theme song came in, and all of a sudden a record scratches, and then like this man is just like, "You weak ass bitch." <laughs> funny shit. Like he's bro, he, that nigga. That's me, like that's. That's fourth wall goat status, bro. You stop my nigga's theme music. <laughs> I just got, bro. That, that alone, bro. Goat status. Goat That's status. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Larry, you got one. Every, we all good here? I think I'm out. I think we're good. I can't think of a another one. <sighs> Maybe well, everybody. Anime. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Forley Podcast where we discuss goats of anime. And if you have any more recommendations or anybody that you think should or should not be on this list, you just let us know at our Twitch handle. Um, I believe it's the f- underscore for loop. Right, Larry? Yep. And I said Twitch, but all right. Sorry, Twitter. But you can gonna, check us out on Twitch. I was confused for a second. You like, can oh. check us out on Twitch uh, <laughs> at the underscore for loop on Twitch. Um, If you want to see... No, I think episodes. it's just the for loop. The for loop. Okay, I think it's cool. that, yeah, no underscore. Just like well, Google us. We're there. <laughs> actually, uh, we are. Like, if you if you actually Google for loop, like we're we're there. We're there. Like, we're that's, there. that's still crazy to me. <laughs> if you want to see previous episodes, Wait. you can always check us out on Anchor Breaker, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, as well as our sister podcast on Loop, as well as YouTube, where we do our YouTube things. Just check out the for loop. And we'll be there as well. Anything else y'all want to add before we say goodbye? Oh, uh, we recently did a review on On Loop of The Batman. Go check it out. Yeah, it was pretty good. I think it was a good movie. Um, if you don't think it was a good movie, well, that's just something else we can You can suck my... Okay, no. Uh... <laughs> I'm in the mood for another tournament, so hit us up with some suggestions. That's I'm, trying to, I'm trying to argue. I'm trying to <laughs> watch my screen, argue. bro. I'm trying to flip my desk. I'm trying Tyson to leave this wants to I'm argue? Ready. What? I'm ready for the smoke, bro. I don't know, man, because last, our last tournament, don't it still don't sit right with me. What was the last I got, one? I got cheated. I don't know if it was our last one, but it's the one I'm thinking. The anime It wasn't one? our last one, but that was probably... Nah, bro, that shit don't one. sit right with me, bro. I got cheated. 
Don't laugh, nigga. It was your fault, bro. Alright, <laughs> goodbye. Peace out, though. Adios.